My name is Lydia Grafenauer and I'll be leading this talk with um, two artists and we'll try, they'll show us some of their projects and we'll probably also see the one that they uh, brought with them, um, how it works, right? How it works. How it works and what it does. <laughs> But um, I would like to start this talk maybe because there, um, when I was, um, when I heard about you and when I was preparing this exhibition, I was reading some so loads of texts about um, how people perceive technology in Europe and how they perceive perceive it um, <laughs> in in Japan or China or. So, what would be your? <laughs> Do we have some more guests? <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your like idea about technology? What's your attitude towards technology? Because here in Europe, Marco. Pardon me, por escucha o Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Who are they? Their question was if you could speak in English. I uh -huh. tried to to. Uh -huh. Aha, but who are they? Uh, ah, okay. Um, perceive means like what is your attitude towards technology? Because here in Europe you have like two different attitudes from what I gather. One is that we are afraid of it, don't know what to do with it, uh -huh. think it. You know, like in, like in Odyssey 2001, when you have Hal, who will like destroy the world and the human race. But I have read that in Japan, the attitude towards technology is much more like free and open. Mm. So what is your attitude mm. towards it? Mm. Especially, I, I, I don't have a uh, special feeling about technology because I, yeah, I graduated. <laughs> from University uh, Information Design Department like mm -hmm. and uh, so tech, using technology is so because using technology is very natural, natural. okay so oh. life. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah kind of yeah what generation are you when, when were you born <laughs> and, Next. 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 and do you see this attitude in the whole of your society in Japan or is it just yeah. younger folk I think it's our well, it depends on the generation uh -huh. and where they live, where they live. Uh -huh. yeah, so I mean, especially Tokyo has uh, so many technologies. Uh -huh. We are, uh, I think, I mean, job in Tokyo is always like design thing or whatever design things or things with computer. Uh -huh. It's the most of the job. Uh -huh. So it's really a natural thing natural. for everybody. I want to ask you the same question. Okay, <laughs> what is my attitude towards yeah, yeah, technology? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't feel burdened by it, I use it every day. It's yeah, also yeah, natural yeah. to me. Yeah. But um, in the society where I live, like in Ljubljana, in Slovenia, I do tend to like get this feeling of... Uh, I have, for instance, just read some sort of an article by an art critic who says technology has nothing to do with art, it's not necessary, blah, blah, blah. For me, it's like a really old and stale notion of thinking about things because technology cannot be good or bad. It can just be a tool and we do with it whatever we do. But I think some people still think like that here. Mm. So I was wondering about where you come from because the contexts are very different probably. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, but tell us about your schooling for first. You said you studied design. How does that look like? Design, I'm not, not actually not design. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I run media art. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, make, make artwork mm -hmm. by using mm -hmm. uh, Yeah. So, um, what the name of the school? Where were you classmates? Uh, were you studying together? Where did you meet each other? How did you like ah, yeah. become a team? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, actually we graduated different in my city. Mm -hmm. I, I graduated Tama University mm -hmm. and he graduated. I graduated 
that's not our university. Mm -hmm. And then tell us more <laughs> probably about that because I don't know if that's like yeah, there's several big our university in Tokyo. Uh -huh. so that's uh, five or six. Mm -hmm. uh, that's two. Tama uh, University, mm -hmm. and Sashina University. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we went to graduate school. Mm -hmm. He went to the uh, same, Tama University. Same, yeah. same, same university. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to his the far from Tokyo. Okay. It's yeah. the middle of Osaka. And then 2018, his school. Uh huh. When I visit his school. Yeah, there was Why did you visit his school? Uh, the Is that the, uh huh? Okay. And how did your like cooperation begin? And my uh, this friend, uh, uh, this is classmate, classmate uh -huh. uh, of Tama University, who graduated Tama University. Mm -hmm. Then uh, he introduced him. Same, same grade, same year. Yes, same year. Mm -hmm. We graduated and we applied at many competitions like mm -hmm. Electronica or for Japanese Mirror mm -hmm. Festival, things like that. Then uh, that year, after graduate, we met several festivals or <laughs> several competitions. Almost every competition we met each other. Uh -huh, and okay. He <laughs> <laughs> started yeah, talking. So he was my this line yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, um, we... Two, two times he won. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one time I lose. <laughs> <laughs> two one. <laughs> two one, actually. <laughs> then 2010, we talked about the situation, the century situation. Uh -huh. What did you doing these days? So after that work, mm. then uh, I tried to make something with Dan Pendro. Uh -huh. So I'm really interested in mechanical things or kinetic things. Yeah, and uh, my main theme of my work is this, uh, the PVOC. Mm -hmm. Can you show us? Um like what you did before you started working together, some some projects that you yeah. So that we see something changed when you like became a couple or artistic <laughs> artistic couples. Artistic. <laughs> My uh, represent our this work maybe my already done this work. I want to start this. Does it do you want to? Do you know this work or want to get acquainted with it? Yeah. Maybe huh? I, I already introduced to Marco in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I would like to show you a uh, video.
this is very useful for this one.
police chased. Ah, you were called chased. by the police. No, no, no. No, he wasn't. Uh huh. Chased. Aha, uh -huh, you ran away. Like, uh, it is the uh, uh, yeah, one of mm -hmm. but uh, just the normal rapidity is hard for me. And, uh, okay. I entered the uh, university and learning the different things. Mm -hmm. and yes, and I think it's very normal to use uh, technologies for my upward pitches. Uh, it is mm -hmm. and, uh, but now that you have like te technologized the graffiti, <laughs> 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 uh, but um, I, I, I can answer you. Well, what happens? What's the difference if, if you have like both experiences? My, my, my almost artwork is, is uh, idea comes from the street. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. I, always I am learning in the street. Mm -hmm. And then pick up my artwork. Mm -hmm. The graffiti and the street art, the spirit of graffiti and the street art is like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, idea sauce. Okay, <laughs> idea sauce sounds <laughs> yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, but you have made this prototype before? Yeah, before. Alone? And Alone. How, how did you to them, how did you join in or how did you start working together and what you did before? Yeah, so? I, I strongly feel this. It is not good for street because it yeah, it has, has to loads of preparation probably on the wall, so mm -hmm. it don't have the mobility. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to make it so that you can put that it mobility. in the on the street. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Let's talk about it. <laughs> mobility. <Sorry. laughs> yes. This is this is very useful. <laughs> Industry. But, industry. But <laughs> it looks really freedom. Yeah. Yeah. It don't attach. Yeah. 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 It can move. Anyway, it looks. <laughs> it looks. It's, it's, it's it looks the, really mobile. Mobile. Yeah. It looks really mobile. I I can. But it's, it's also very educational, you know. Like I mean, you have uh, some some machine that you know it's, it's interacting with the with the city wall. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You have a lot of machines. <laughs> 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 Rent. Rent the, the most one. <laughs> Even this machine has a problem, I think. Still. Uh huh. For the, for the industry. Okay, but you would like to like have it made by industry and put on the street and yeah, I won't. get I won't. used by <laughs> like ordinary folk who want to make graffiti. Yeah, yeah. So who? Sorry? <laughs> Singapore? Yeah. yeah. Please I'm introduce. I'm sure you cannot sell it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. really clean. So can you show us some of your work from uh, yeah, before yeah. you started? Okay. <laughs> in technology 
or in the way it works, I haven't seen that one. The, the most different thing is the concept of the artwork. I, I, I actually, um, anyway, I, I, just, I, I just want to kind of personal touch as well as you would with your hands. Yeah, yeah. It, I think I thought it's very similar. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, actually, when I see it, how it's done, uh, because it's still, it, it makes a painting in the end, because uh, it still works like a machine. Yeah. So to me, it looks like a fancy, fancy graffiti Jackson <laughs> Pollock kind of yeah. thing. <laughs> Many but people say yet? to us, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, So maybe the next step would be like make it, if it's possible, a bit out of this, what was that, so that it can go outside of the frame. Again, that's probably difficult again. Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah, but still, to see if you oh. practice. my last project as a music device.
in November, we had we had opportunity to develop this machine. Uh huh. Uh, all the the building. Old building. Uh huh. Plan to destroy. Uh huh. And the the end of the year, I think. So yeah, several events. Uh, the before the destroy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so that will we be can do anything. We can do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh. We will have open studio and. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, another question, question, who finances your project? How do you finance your project? Uh, we are all the time like moaning about like where to get money for projects, for exhibitions, so I want exactly. to know how, how is that of in course, Japan? Of course, our set money. Uh -huh. uh, we, we cannot leave only art, mm -hmm. so... <clears throat> He doing he doing he, he doing web web, web design. Uh -huh. I'm doing kind of engineering things. Uh -huh. So we get money uh -huh. from that job. Uh -huh. Then we make art. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then you apply and hopefully is yeah. is your goal that you will be living only uh, on art? Something? Yeah, of course. Not sure. <laughs> Do you travel abroad a lot or? Yeah, this year is. Because when we were writing emails, you were like will be like this festival later and da 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 so I was like yeah, they're really yeah, traveling yeah. a lot. After this festival we will go to Kimraj and mm -hmm. last uh, sep September we went to Korea mm -hmm. and uh, but, uh, but for this one this this piece mm -hmm. it's just the three, three. Mm -hmm. but before he went to San uh, Paulo. 